Hi there. How's it going today? My name is Sarah Daniels, and I'm the Senior Marketing Manager for Education Programs for VMware. And welcome to the VCDX Spotlight Series. Today, we're talking with Simon, and we'll go through some of his experiences getting his VCDX and his take on the process in general. Simon, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much as well for the invitation. Happy to be here. So welcome everyone. My name is Simon. Um, I'm recently uh, FAUCDX certified number 294. Um, on a daily basis, I work as an associate cloud architect, uh, focusing on the hybrid cloud approach. And I will be more than happy to share my experience um, from my FAUCDX um, journey. Great. So when did you get your VCDX? Uh, well, actually, it will be like almost two months ago. Uh, so the time flies really fast, to be honest with you. Very recently. <laughs> That's correct. What was that process like for you? How was how was your defense? Um, how how did the whole process go? Yeah. So to be completely honest with you, um, it was a roller coaster for me. Um, the whole process took quite a um, decent amount of time for me. I started my preparations back in the end of 2018, uh, submitted my documents like um, a year later. I had been uh, working very hard on this and I'm really proud to, to be honest for my submission documents, something to be the biggest part of the architectural documents that I have, I think I have done so far. And, you know, then and the, the obvious stuff have happened. So it took over a year for actual defense to take place for me. And yeah, quite, quite, quite a lot of time. Uh, I wouldn't say it was stressful, but I would say it was very productive and very nice opportunity to, 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 to try to develop myself uh, in so many areas and to find so many, uh, I would say, friends uh, along the way. Yeah, I've heard that from a lot of the VCDXs, you know, not just the camaraderie of doing it, but the, the experience itself of getting a VCDX is just such a validation of your skills and you learn so much along the way. What was the actual defense process like? How did that go? And especially in a virtual environment. We were the first, I think, back in 2020 to have a completely remote defenses. So uh, what we have been advised from, for, from the previous VCDX um, holders was um, that definitely the remote part might be a little bit tricky because you don't have, for example, the whiteboard part. So you have to came up with some kind of an alternative or workaround on this aspect, right? So this was a totally new aspect. And I will not try to lie here. Doing this remote takes, I would say, some kind of additional um, level of, you know, um, complexity in this aspect, at least to say, I would say. So my defense took, took in, uh, was, was actually happening in the December 2020. I was, uh, to be honest, I wasn't that much um, stressed out about the process, um, but sadly, um, I did not perform to, to, to my, I think, um, biggest level. So my first attempt was a failure. And um, then I had to resubmit. Um, and this resulted in my second attempt on June 2021. So yeah, also, also remote as well. And to be completely honest with you, the second attempt was a little bit more stressful to me. And the funny thing is that, um, you know, I think it is due to the fact that uh, my first attempt was like, I was literally, I think, first to be held uh, the defense in the EMEA, like I was starting on Monday. And on the second attempt, it I think it's, it is confirmed that I was the last to take the defense. So I was talking with all of the other guys, with all of the other people, how was their experience, how they are feeling confident about their defenses. And frankly, I never considered this, but uh, you know what? So my, my hands were actually shaking like five minutes prior to the defense. <laughs> So I'm, that, sure. That, that, I'm sure that was that was that was a very uh, nice experience <laughs> <laughs> and now that you have your vcdx congratulations by the way Thank you. um has anything changed in your job situation or professionally for you or are you still in that process 
It did. Um, somewhere prior to my second uh, defense, I've been starting some kind of uh, job research. And um, one thing that I'm very grateful for the whole um, journey was the the level that I could achieve um, becoming from kind of in the operational perspective, moving into the architectural, with, where I could speak, you know, business language, um, addressing customer requirements. So technically speaking, everything that I have learned as part of, you know, the mocks, the journey, the self-development, I have actually put uh, into my job interview and uh, Apparently, um, my new employee was quite happy with it because, well, I've landed a job. So on that part, I'm uh, very grateful for, for the whole trip, for the whole process, because I didn't anticipate that it would happen, to be honest. But uh, hey, well, it works. Yeah, That's fantastic. I love that. Um, if you had to give advice to someone else coming up in this process, in the certification process in general, whether that's a VCP or a VCAP or a VCDX, what advice would you have for those people? Yeah, so this will be actually coming from my experience. When I was starting um, getting acquainted with the VMware technology, I think it was like 2013, so over eight years ago. So back in the days, taking the VCP was quite an achievement. And until this day, it is still still valid, right? But I wouldn't um, stop or recommend anyone from, uh, from, let's say, stopping with the VCP only, right? I think the biggest value and the biggest um, asset for me was actually doing the VCAPs uh, because this was the kind of, you know, like an introduction for moving for, I would say, some sort of an operational only tasks to becoming some kind of a subject matter expert from the self-development. And some, somewhere, somewhere along the way, well, after, after I think, uh, getting the VCEX, like two years later, I have decided, well, maybe it's high time to do the to to to, to get the number right. So, so the VCEX, and uh, frankly, I was really afraid, and I was, um, I wouldn't say insecure about you know giving the attempt, but from everybody from from, from you know all of the stories that we could hear from the other people it's a huge um it's a huge dedication i would say so this is something that i was really afraid of so yeah if you are looking in self-development if you're looking for let's say kind of leaving the trenches and moving to our kind of you know becoming a general from the technical perspective yeah um uh, what i can advise is well the the sooner you start the better actually right uh, I think that my process could be decreased um, at least by two years. But uh, at this point in time, I did not have the confidence. And the confidence is actually something that uh, the whole journey really allows to be built up upon, uh, I would say, applicant. Right? Um, to be honest, uh, well, I'm not native speaker, that's for sure. But also, you know, the, the, the whole journey is very interesting from the language perspective that you can practice, you can work with so many different people. And it kind of proves you uh, that you are able to work in the multicultural, multi-language environments. So this is yet another reason why somebody should consider going for CDX. That makes a lot of sense. So what would you say is your favorite thing to work on? What's your favorite VMware product? or what's really firing you up right now? Uh, yeah, so um, my favorite product is actually, I do consider the Visa being one. Uh, actually, it was part of my, uh, you know, the document as well. Mm, it is really nice to see how the Visa is kind of a market disruption in this aspect. I have watched the Visa starting small in 2013. Um, and now to the nowadays, how it looks like, how mature, how wide product it become and how it actually changes the, you know, kind of the infrastructure as a service approach. So, so the vision is really close to my heart, um, not only from the technical perspective, but also back in, I think, 2015, 2016, I have started to advocate about, you know, software and defined storage aspects. And this was kind of my entry towards discussing with the CTO, CEOs, this, um, th having those discussions and, you know, kind of doing the advocacy 
kind of the activities and you know stressing building up your confidence as part of the whole process so this is this was a nice experience for myself as well so seeing that transition of vsan over the last however many years almost 10 years yes uh, <laughs> Where do you see the industry going? What do you what do you see happening in the next five years or so? Uh, well, to be honest, uh, sometimes it uh, we have a saying here that if something um, if some disruptions that are going to happen kind of you know scary people here. So I think the same applies to the IT industry because the disruptions are happening more often. And also the level of those disruptions are much, much, much bigger than the previous ones. So I think the next five years will be very interesting because, you know, like cloud is now no commodity. Like it was a fire, fire thing like five years ago. Now it's a commodity, right? So I'm hearing more and more discussion about the hybrid clouds. Uh, we can also hear some kind of, uh, you know, the from the master business administrators uh, holders that we can have, for example, something like cloud exit strategy as well. So this is something that we have to consider. So uh, when one when being familiar with one cloud was quite a decent some time ago, I think the hybrid cloud is the future. And, you know, moving towards this DevOps kind of a mindset uh, is really a must have, uh, not only to aspiring and IT professionals, but also also for, for, for the experienced ones. So actually this is thing that I'm kind of trying to close my gaps, uh, technological gaps. I'm working quite a lot uh, recently with you know improving my knowledge about the Kubernetes. So I'm really looking forward for the uh, Vimor Tanzu in this aspect, because I do indeed think, think that this is one of the future proof product from the VMware. Just to give you an example, the Tanzu application transformer, right? So when you can click and you know containerize whole applications in the user interfaces, which can easily allow quite small, quite big companies to, to move towards CI CD as well. So this is going to be really, really, really interesting. And my concern will be only that why is they having so few hours to you know build up the knowledge, build out um, the experience and be up to date with everything that is happening around us. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely agree with you. Well, thank you so much, Simon, for talking with us today. I really appreciate it. Um, good luck with everything. Congratulations once again on your VCBX. And we look forward to hearing more from you soon. Thank you very much. And if I can spoil a little bit, uh, if anybody is looking for a mentor, I'm here for you. So you can reach out to me on the social, social media. You can find the other mentors as well on the VCDX directory. And the least I can do is try to encourage you. Uh, it is worth it. It is challenging, but definitely worth it. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> Thank you so much.